So now that we've imported our JSON data into our page, what we want to do is display it in a much more formatted way than just putting the JSON data in directly. And we're going to be creating some HTML and then placing it inside this to display our data. So we've already got a start here. So when this button gets pressed, there's a string called HTML, which we will add to. And at the end, the inner HTML of this box will get set to this HTML here. Now what I've done is I've just taken that JSON and I've kind of formatted it so we know what we're working with. And what we want to do is we want to, for each of these objects, we want to create a row, which we're going to put in div tags. And then we're going to put the key then the value, and then the key, then the value, and then the key, then the value, so we can display all of this information. So the first thing we need to do is, since we have an array here, we need a way to access each of these objects. And with that, we can call the for each method. So what we're going to do is, since JSON is the name of our array, we're going to say JSON dot for each, and the input of this for each is a function that takes in one of these items in the array. In this case, the item is a cat object, so I'm just going to call it the input cat. And remember how I said we need to create a row for each object. So what we need to do is we need to create some div tags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to HTML using the add equals operator, and we want to create div tags and here they've given the div tags a class of cat so I'm going to do that as well. So here we go. So now we've got an opened div for each cat. Now the next thing it says is we need to wrap the key in some strong tags. So what we're going to do is we're going to print the key, then the value, the key, then the value, the key, then the value. And it says we need to put the key inside strong tags. So if we need to find a way to access each of these items in the array. And firstly, we need to get a set of keys. And to do that, we'll use a method called object.keys. So I'm going to say let keys equals object.keys. Now this object method can be accessed from vanilla JavaScript and as an input you give it the name of the object you want to get the keys from. So I'm going to just going to say cat since that's what we're working with. And I'm just going to log this just so we can be clear of what it does. Hang on, there's a problem. Oh, there we go. So if I run this now, as you can see, we just have an array with the list of each key. Now we can use this key now to access the properties. I'll show you how. So we can call a for each method on the keys. So this will run a function for each of the keys. And it takes in a key this time. And we can now access each property using cat and then key like this. So let me just show you how this works. So if I do console.log cat key, and then console.log, and if I just log just the key, and then I run this, now we have the key, the value, the key, the value. So we've managed to access the key and the value for each cat. So remember, the key is just key, and the value is going to be the object with the key as a string to access the value. So what we need to do is we need to put the key in some strong tags. So the first thing to do is add to HTML some strong tags. So that'll look like this. So we need to open a strong tag. Then what we need to do is we need to display the key. So we can just dump the key just like this. And then we're going to close the strong tag. So one second. So I'm going to put class. So I'm going to close the strong tag like this. So let's run it now. And now we've got all the keys in bold like this. So next we need to do is display the value after these keys. So I'm just going to add a colon just so we can have some distinction. So I'm going to say space colon, oops, space colon space like this. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the value out as well in its raw form. And remember to access the value, we would do cat and then key like this. So it'll access the value with that key in this cat object. So if I try it now, I've got the key and then, then the value, then the key, then the value, then the key, then the value. Now I'm just going to put um, some spaces between each of these. So I'm just going to put a new line after each of these. And remember with new line, you can just do BR like this. So now we have key value, key value, key value like this, key value, key value, key value, key value, key value, key value. Cool. So now what we need to do is we also need to close the div tag for each of the cat objects, just so we have some separation. So what I'm going to do is once we've done printed the keys and the values, we want to just add to HTML again. Now remember this happens for each cat. We want to add to HTML again a closing div tag. And I'm also going to add a horizontal line just for some separation. I don't think this one's required though. So I'm just going to put HR. So if I try it now, yeah, the horizontal lines don't show up, but we do have a nice space here. So we've got a div here, a div here, a div here, and we printed out the keys and values like this. So we've stored it in HTML, we've used a for loop, and we've put the keys in strong tags. So this is pretty much everything we need to complete our challenge. So we've just managed to take this raw JSON data and format it into some nice HTML that we've managed to display. So I'm going to try submitting this now. And no, there's a problem. One second. Your code should wrap the key names in strong tags, which it is. What I'm going to try doing is I'm just going to try doing this. So now we just have these strong tags all together like this. So strong key strong. Okay, so what I've essentially just done there is, for some reason, again, with the way this is marked, it needs to, it just checks that we have this line exactly. So make sure you put the strong key strong in one line, and then you can do the rest in rows like I just did. So yeah, basically I just did, added an open strong tag, added the key and then closed the strong tag, put it into one string and then added it into HTML. So yeah, it's just the way that this is marked. So it does exactly the same thing.